boom, boom. Light my candle. Okay, while y'all log it in, I gotta go get some. Hold on. Okay. All right. I'm back. <laughs> I was like, I ain't got that down here talking about I'm doing some readings. Peace, peace, peace. You mad you missed the other live session? Oh, I saved it. The last one I didn't save and I suck because that was a good one. I saved it on here, but I didn't save it for. What you call it? Okay, hold on. Do y'all smudge yourself? I know that was just a random question, but yeah, I saved them, but I normally like to save it on my phone so I can put it on my YouTube. I didn't save that last one because I was trying to make sure I came back. So the other thing that um, I forgot to tell, I don't know people who are smudging and saging the house. Make sure you are saging yourself. So taking the time, go head to toe exactly all around for my youngins y'all smudge yourself and i actually have a butter that i use to go back on my skin with um that is mixed with florida water and um some cinnamon oil and stuff yeah palo santo is good i just like sage better I like Palo what I'm doing, what I'm about to do. I like to sage myself with actual sage. But I use Palo to, or like, um, I'll be having everything in my little bowl, y'all. Or I use like dragon's blood. So this is like my dragon's blood, so it's for protection. But if you work with a lot of people, Slim, you definitely, somebody who work with a lot of, you interact with a lot of people. You should be saging yourself every day. Quit feeling like y'all can't invest in some sage. I ain't saying you got to burn the whole stick, but invest. Honey, I got everything. Palo. This is Palo Santo. So that's a good one. Okay, so I just should, y'all saw me have the white sage. The red sage was dragon's blood. So it's for protection and removing negative energy. My Palo Santo is to cleanse the energy, but it also brings in spiritual dynamic, which is why I use it specifically for readings and for my um, spiritual baths too. That's what I burn. Sprays are good, but I like burning stuff better because it's using more than one element. Sprays are more about alchemy than it is about... Um, Yeah, sage daily. You work with teachers, you are anything that you are interacting with people on a regular basis. As soon as you come in the house, you should be saging. Or you should be carrying some sort of spray that is mixed with. 
don't know why that just froze like that. Some sort of spray that is sage with everything. All right, y'all. My first person was showing. Rosemary is good for clarity, mental clarity, memory. Um, it's got some good combinations. Frankincense is a good spirit. I actually use frankincense um, when I don't have my... You can burn rosemary. You can put rosemary in your bath water. Um, y'all can make your own sage, like your own version of a sage as well. It don't have to be necessarily like dry. It's dried herbs. So it could be sage mixed with some other things if you don't like the smell. Um, camphora is really good to remove negative energy. Frankincense, sandalwood, and myrrh. Great, great combination. Sandalwood is for protection. I'm I'm going to do 10. Because I got to, I ain't fooling with y'all. It's a full moon. I got to go get ready. I already got my house stuff done, but I need to, I got like a lot of altar work I'm doing for people tonight. Going into tomorrow, I got some bath sauce I'm making for tonight. Yes, camper. Uh, what type of spray is there? There are a lot of different sprays. I usually make my own spray. I'm real intentional, y'all. So I don't like a lot of people' energy being mixed into the things that I burn or to, you know. Oh, I ain't even show y'all my cinnamon. Cinnamon. That's why I say I have everything. I keep everything on deck. So. I got bath salts that I'm doing tonight. Um, the basic thing that I'm telling y'all to do, like I said in the last video, not last video, but the one that I talked about with the full moon. Um, I don't know if it's still up, but cinnamon does a lot. Go look up the spiritual and magical uh, meaning for cinnamon. Um, cleanse your house, sage your house. Do a spiritual bath. I always light three candles for myself. Each candle represents a different dynamic. One might be over love. And that for me is like self-love. How I express my, my um, forms of love to my family. How it's being reciprocated to me. My second candle is always... Um, Sean, can you pop in here to let me know you in here? Because I was doing you first. My second candle is always dealing with my business, how I want doors to be open, my abundance for that. Um, you can do yours, Des, um, tomorrow. You got three days. Two days, really, but three. So clean, sage, and vibrant spiritual bath, light candles. Yes. Meditation. Did I put that in there before? Meditate. Before you light candles, meditate. Hear exactly what it is that you need to be working on. Pay attention to what you did after that. Okay. My list is actually Shun, um, Bella, the Bella, the Bella something. I didn't write the whole name, so y'all y'all gonna have to be on it. I know TGI Shade. I think that was her name. Um, Tamika, which I know is titled T A O. T L A W. Okay, there you go, Sean. Um, Netta, you trying to get in there? If I have time, I'll, I'll make sure I get you. But right now, um, I got like a whole Chanel. Thank you. So, shine is first, then Chanel. Okay. Sean, why well, I always feel like I pull for you and I get like 100 cards trying to drop out? <laughs> Find out where your Leo is sitting if you have your chart. Where is your Leo sitting in your, in your house? So the easy way for y'all not to get overwhelmed with that whole chart aspect is 
put in Leo. Let's say you got Leo in the 10th house. Leo in the 10th house, Google it. The next thing you want to do is, what does the 10th house represent? What is the 10th house? The 10th house is over X, Y, Z, da, 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 da. Okay? That's what you need to do. All right. Child sage. I got sage spray with my Florida water and my cinnamon. And I got a couple of other like crystals and all kind of stuff in my bottle. It's stay in a purse. All right, Sean. Yours is about what is liberating you. What is your freedom? Freedom. This is all about freedom for you. What is going to push you to that, that space of liberation? What is the things that you need to be putting in place as you are um, discovering your liberation, discovering your freedom, moving through these next 30 days, this next moon cycle? Focus your intent and your energy in this space. Understand what freedom represents for you. Understand what it means for you in your life right now. Um, do some heart chakra work, Sean. It's um, energy over... Um, heart in particular, but, um, anxiety. I don't know if that's anxiety. I feel like anxiety, um, but definitely heart chakra. So what I would suggest for you to do, Sean, is do something that is kind of working with the heart chakra, maybe even working with green candle in particular, which is interesting because it is the Leo energy. We are very emotional <laughs> and sensitive beings. Um, Leo is also over the crown chakra as well. Um, so right now I'm, I'm definitely feeling like freedom. What represents freedom? What does freedom look like for you? Understand what that means. That could also even mean um, what is the freedom dynamic when it comes to um your freedom number. What is that? What is that number? What will it take for you to actually feel liberated and free? That's what I'm hearing. What will it take? What's the blueprint for that? What's the plan to, to get there? What are the things you need to eliminate? Because this month is about resolution, resolving the things that are not serving us. What do you need to do to get rid of the things that ain't serving you? For real, for real. So that heart shocker could be open. Internal conflict was the other card that came out for y'all. I wasn't going to pull two, but Spirit kept nudging me. Um, internal conflict. Resolve anything that you got going on internally. Feel really... Um, sit still. Understand that all, all things um, are in divine timing and an alignment. So don't worry about how it looked at anybody else. Don't worry about how it might even feel to you right this moment because it might be feeling like it's, it's a, a push for you to resolve certain things, but it's very important for you to do that, for you to get liberated to this space that you see, that I see coming for you. I know all my collective be on something. Y'all be on fire. Y'all be having a lot of stuff popping. Uh, hold on, y'all. My Paolo went out. So that was yours, Sean. Focus on freedom. Freedom, freedom, freedom is your keyword. And heart chakra, rose quartz. If you work with color candles, get a green candle. Scratch that, get a red candle, Sean. <laughs> Don't give me that face. <laughs> red candle, Sean. Red candle and heart chakra work. All right, um, Bella, Chanel, that's my middle name, Chanel, you spell yours different. Yeah, get a red candle, I said green because green is the color for heart chakra, but Spirit said no, you need a red candle, so it's red for you. Send me your chart, Des. What you trying to figure out with your chart? I said I'm going to do a class specifically on how to do the basic breakdown for a natal chart. Okay, y'all? I was going to try to do a video, but it is too much information to try to pack. I'll be coming on here 500 times. 
Bella, Bella, Bella. We waiting on you to pop back in, beloved. Just stick an emoji up. Mine too. Brandy is my first name. Okay. Yay. All right. Let's see what else. Y'all want some. You focused on freedom too? Obviously you are. <laughs> you got a freedom card too, uh, Bella. Chanel. Not you, Mila Bella. I ain't got I ain't got to your name yet. You on there. You got about four more people. Um Chanel. Yours was freedom. It's upside down. Y'all better tell me when these cards are upside down. Um, yours is freedom as well, which is about freedom and liberation. But you had the death card come out. And the death card is about releasing things that are old, ends of the ending of old cycles, the ending of things that are coming to a close. Not only that, it's the ending of oh. <laughs> the ending of um, things that are, are no longer in alignment for your next level. So you're getting ready to come into a new level up. And because of, of, of that new level and the, the, the direction you're going, the flow that you're going in, that means that these things are, are gone, no longer a part of who you are, no longer. You see what I'm saying? So now... You are embracing what is new. You are embarking on the new part of your life. So this moon, new, like full moon time, full moon time. You see what I'm saying? Full moon time, you getting ready to be in a space of final resolution. I'm putting that to death. I'm burying that. Mm -mm. It can't go with me. It can't go with me. I'm moving into a new space. I'm moving into a new direction. What you ask me, Zuri? Everybody keeps saying good questions, Zuri. What do I say my, to myself when I'm shuffling cards? I don't be talking to myself. <laughs> um, I ask for Alekba. I ask for Alekba to open the gateway of communication to give me guidance through whoever name I'm working on, whoever the person it is that I'm, I'm, I'm focusing my intention on to um, give me guidance in order to um, communicate with their spirit guides and their ancestors to give me clarity on the journey that they are taking through this full moon. So it depends on whatever energy. If I'm, I'm focused on moon energy, I'll state full moon. Or if I'm focused on just regular energy, like just giving me guidance through your journey. So did y'all get that? Was that too much? Pretty simple. Straight to the point, but I always go to Alekba, which I told you, I work with Alekba on everything, and ask him to give me, um, to open up the gateway of communication to your guides in order to give me the clarity and the answer that I need in order to guide you. And my guides. My guides are always here. They always in my ear. Um... Who is that for Chanel? So Chanel, the focus or an intent, um, if you are going to do any moon ritual work, would be what am I releasing? Taking that spiritual bath, asking for the spirit to speak life into the bath. I've, I've kind of went over it, but oh, quickly, if you do not know how to take a spiritual bath, you are going to, you know, get basic elements. If you don't have the basic elements like um, Epsom salt, sea salt, preferably it could be pink Himalayan salt or regular sea salt. Um, or black um, Himalayan sea, um, sea salt. Um, that the oil that you might want to work with. Um, I am recommending cinnamon. Because it correlates with Leo energy. Um, so cinnamon. And then um, Florida water. If you have Florida water. If you are one of those who are a sensitive. And you know what I mean. And it might not work well with your yoni. Then keep it very, very basic. You might not want to put that Florida water in there. Might, might have you jacked up. No, I want none of y'all in my inbox talking about 
Y'all got issues now because I done told you to put some cinnamon in, in your water or some Florida water in your water. I ain't do it. So, <laughs> that's, you, you're putting the, the energy in there. You're asking for the water. You're commanding for the water to remove any energy or any things that are not serving you. You are removing toxins. You are removing energy out of your body from this bath. And then you're going to speak life into the water too. So every time you put your hand, like putting whatever, I, I don't have nothing to throw. Y'all know I like to, oh, I'm putting this in the water. I'm speaking what I want that to do. I'm putting salt in there. So now with that Epsom salt, yeah, keep it simple. So if, if it's it's products that are going to disturb the the pH level and your yoni, don't 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 put it in there. You can do something simple like just doing salt. Maybe you should be okay with the salt, um, and it detoxing, and that's how you have to look at it. it's detoxing the energy out of me, the things that are no longer serving me. And then when I'm speaking life into this water, this water is going to fulfill me with love and abundance. This water is going to restore my my um clarity my wisdom my understanding of who i am whatever it is that you're trying to speak into existence that's what you need to do i always say if you don't have or you cannot put any of that stuff in your tub put your hand in the water you are the tool you are the magic Put your hand in the water and speak with the water. You're commanding the energy into the water. I'm going to command this water to remove X, Y, Z. I'm going to speak life into this water to give me what it is that I need. X, Y, Z. Okay? So, Chanel, definitely take a spiritual bath. As for everything to be removed and cleansed out of your body. Out of your heart, your mind, and your spirit. As you are leveling up into this new space in your life you're getting ready to go through a shift so preparing your mind body and your spirit for the shift that you're about to go into and understanding that it's serving your highest self it is there for a reason and it's divine time and that it is happening at this moment in time with this super moon it's a great time to be leveling up okay um, if you don't have a bath, yes, you can do a shower or you can put water in a sink and make sure that you, it's not to cleanse yourself. This, these baths, you should be clean before you take them. I didn't say that. Some stuff I'd be thinking is basic information. Spiritual baths are not to clean your body. Spiritual baths are to um, cleanse your body from a spiritual perspective, not for you to wash your ass. I say. <laughs> so you can put water in a, in a, a thing. Think of a baptism. It's the same concept. You can put water in the sink with the same products and just kind of wash your body down and speak life into it. <laughs> Y'all know my mouth be off the chain sometimes. I'm sorry. Okay. Shy day. Let's do you next, love. <laughs> Shade. Hold on. Spirit wants to start over with you, so we will. Uh -uh -um. Okay. twice okay shot you got the worth card i'm gonna show y'all both cards first before i go into it you got the worth card because yours i might want to intertwine that and the meditation card worth card and the meditation card they both the same colors too worth card don't you give me that face 
Yeah, she had a whole bunch of cars trying to come out. I was like, we ain't taking all of them. In the bottom of that. Okay, so Sade. What's going on? I say. Um, look. While we moving into this new moon, this is this worth card popping out. And in your bottom of the deck on this was the mirror card. So, um, definitely understand your value and how important you are. How important you are. You are truly valuable. You are truly needed. You are truly a necessity to the people that are around you. The energy that is around you. You are truly, truly, truly valuable. You are a diamond. Establish the boundaries as such. If you are having a hard time connecting to this higher self that you truly represent, you need to go into meditation. You need to get in touch and in tune with your breath. Get in touch and in tune with your breath, who you are. Have a conversation with her. Have a conversation with her. Understand how it is in alignment with who you are. How us really understand that sitting in, in that breath, sitting in that alignment is going to bring forth your true manifestation of who you are, how powerful you are. This, this time frame should be about you reflecting in this moon, this full moon, reflecting on what are the things that you need to master that is going to make you in alignment with your highest self. In particular, um, your, your uh, chakra is going to be your sacral and your solar. So I don't know if you got something to write that down. Sacral and your solar are the two that I want you to work on. Um, you need to be doing not only the front. Um, I don't even want to get that complex. If you have time, Google your... I think it should show up in your 13 chakras. And it'll be the front and the back portals. So, sacral and solar in particular. The two back that correspond with that. Um, meditation is your key. That is going to be the thing that is going to give you the answer that you are going to be able to receive the downloads on this refinement that you need to do. The reflection time is for you to understand what it is that you need to refine, how you are going to move forward, how you are going to um, truly connect with your higher self. Okay? Heavy energy, beloved. So, take time. Be at peace. Play your music. What song? What's your favorite song? What song is like... If you go to the club or you was out or you out with you out with your friends and then they play that song, you'd be like, be ready to get up and dance, but you ain't get ready to dance for real. Well, you might not be like that. I know I'll, I'll be ready. I'm a little silly, so I'll be ready. Be the best dancer in my chair, I shall do. So whatever your favorite song is, Shade, play that. Get in the mood. Get those vibrations high. Get those vibrations very high so you can do exactly what you need to do to shift this energy. Yes, I'll be jamming in my chair. <laughs> Zuri, you would catch that. <laughs> jamming, I'll be on the one. When I was younger, I used to be the one in the middle of the flow. <laughs> Me and my girlfriends, boy. But I'm not as young anymore. These bones be popping now. Not in a good way. <laughs> I say, Sade, sending you love and light. Sending you love and light. Um, Tamika. That's Tile Law. Tayola. Tamika, are you on here?
taking over from the nine nine to the two thousand. But like Tamika, I think that's your name, right? Tayo, a quick two step for real. It'd be a hard two step. Tayo, you on here? T a o t l a w. Tamika. Oh, okay. Yeah, I know it'd be delayed. I don't be getting it. That'll be like, I'm getting this reading. I'm getting in on this reading. Damn it. She said, I'm going to keep throwing my name out here. <laughs> I'm going to put you on. Let me see how many people I got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, I'm way over, y'all. I can't do no more because I'm going I'm to be tired. I can't be making some people salt and not having it the right way. I might come back tomorrow um, and do a few. All right, Tamika. Tamika, you want freedom too? What y'all trying to get free from? Goodness. Why is that the, the card today? Hmm. Last time it was the crossroads. Everybody was at a pivotal point <laughs> making decisions. This year, look, this reading, it's being free. Organized. My mind is always all over the place. Um, Rosemary is a good oil for organization and clarity. Oh, the names on my list for the ones that wasn't here. Um, after this, Tamika is going to be Zuri. After Zuri, I got Mila Bella, Alicia. Oh, somebody about to be mad because I do not know what I wrote down for this name. Um, I think this other one was Trina. Maybe T R E I N A A. That might not sound right. Anyway, Keisha, Miss Kristen, Deborah, K Flemings. Yeah. A couple of those, give or take. I don't know. Um, it seemed like it. That must be the, the theme. Um, freedom. Can y'all see that? So we already said freedom. So y'all kind of already know, but I'm still tied into what you need specifically, Tamika. Um, and your other card was the battle card. Trinia. Yes, yes. Oh, abundance. Yes, you was the other person. Thank you. Abundance. So that was the other one. And this was Trina. Yay, y'all good. Y'all did good because my handwriting was special. <laughs> Um, Tamika, you got that freedom card and you got this battle card, internal conflict. So look, this is how I see this. It is going to be this internal conflict that you need to resolve. Whatever you are in conflict with yourself in particular, an internal conflict, um, even to the extent that you might be feeling like you in competition with other people, but you're not, there's no competition. Y'all hear me say this all the time. It is nobody in your, we don't got no competition. We got us this. We ain't got no competition. We don't compete. We are who we are. So whatever this internal conflict that you are facing or feeling, or maybe somebody is creating, X that, nix that. That is going to be the resolution. So this is going to be all about you understanding, um, freeing yourself of that conflict, freeing yourself from, from that, that um, energy altogether. Yes, right. People think they in competition with you. It ain't no competition. We don't compete. So make sure you resolve that and understand that. Like, we don't do that. Whatever you are feeling like you torn on, release it. This is not the time. I've been telling y'all this month is all about resolution. It's all about moving forward. It's all about letting go things that do not serve us. If you do not let them go within these first couple of months, you are going to compete completely start 
um, recycling these these this this lesson. This lesson is going to recycle back into your energy. It's going to recycle back into your life. And we are not trying to repeat anything. We're not repeating anything. We are moving forward. We are in alignment. You let it go, but for some reason you feel it some kind of way. Maybe you feel in regret or you feel like maybe you could have handled it a different way. It don't matter how you handle it. As long as you cut it off, we ain't competing. We ain't doing that. I ain't getting ready to go back and forth with you. So, <laughs> do what you're supposed to do. Move forward so you can be free. You're supposed to be out here living your best life. You ain't got time. You disappointed. Resolve it. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Work on that heart chakra and let it go. Understand everything that you do is, is in alignment with who you are and where you're going. You might be disappointed. Let it go. Resolve it. Light a candle for it. That be That's your symbolic uh, gesture. I'm going to light a candle for this. I'm releasing this energy. I'm done with it because I don't have time. I ain't got time. This this don't have anything to do with how I'm in alignment with my highest self at all. So since it doesn't have anything to do with that, it got to go. So your energy really should be focused during this full moon on resolving anything that is trying to linger. Yes. This disappointing energy is the stagnant. It's creating a stagnant. This dis disappointing experience is creating stagnation in order for you to be free. We were operating in freedom. We're trying to be liberated out here. We live in our best life. Light a candle. Be done with it. If it's supposed to come back in your life, it's a friendship that's supposed to be back. Just send them love and light. Surround them with protecting energy. Surround them with healing energy in particular. Visualize that in your head that they are being surrounded and supported with all the love, light, and energy that you have. And understand that when it is time for them to evolve, they will rotate back into your life exactly how they're supposed to. You see what I'm saying? But don't focus your attention in there. Is there a certain color that needs to be lit? Um, Sade, for you, I would do um yellow and orange. Yellow and orange. Yellow and orange. Tamika, I feel like you need a lighter black candle. You need a lighter black candle so you can dead that energy. Because you, you, you don't need to be dealing with that. You got too much... You got too much stuff that's unfolding for you, beloved. Pry, you want me to pull you a card? <laughs> in this video because my meds are kicking in. Uh-oh. Okay, I will. <laughs> um, Tao, da, 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 Zuri. Okay, Zuri. What we got? Where you at, beloved? Let me hear it. I'm try to. I don't want to rush, but I'm gonna try to get through these. I ain't got that many more. I only got about like five more. Y'all got me late for my own moon stuff. Let me go outside real quick. <laughs> Zuri. Okay, here we go. Sorry, y'all kill me with all these cards. I'm not. I refuse to do it. You're not pulling all these cards. All right. Sorry. <laughs> um, 
it is cold i had a um sweatshirt on but when i do readings y'all um my uh body temperature rises really high um the death card popped out well let's do it in order meditation popped out so be in meditation be in meditation be still go into um being in tune with yourself being in tune with um who you are connecting to your highest self um how to read card well ready yes i'm watching the blood moon i've been watching the moon since early okay i'm sorry going into meditation going into alignment with yourself um, knowing how to connect with yourself is going to be really important for you because this is how you are receiving your downloads specifically for this next cycle. Um, make sure you are going, it's getting off the, the fence. Make the decision, pivotal moments. You have a lot of pivotal moments this in, in this year, actually. Um, in particular, this first half of the year, there's going to be a lot of choices and a lot of decisions that you have to make. And making these decisions are going to shift the dynamic that you are creating. Um, allow things to fall. Allow things to fall to the wayside. Allow things to um, move. You see what I'm saying? Allow things to move out of your way. Allow them to, to fall to the wayside, to be dead, removed. No pride. Um allow the new things and the the embracing things the love things the wonderful shifts and dynamics the new things the new cycles that are coming in your life right now to come in embrace them so in this full moon energy you really should be in the space of um uh setting the tone for what you about to walk into i think you already know um understanding that the decision needs to be made go ahead and try to get the the answer to the questions that you asking right now what are you on the fence about go ahead and try to meditate on what that answer is you hear noises around your altar that might be your spirits trying to talk to you they trying to talk to you are you talking back y'all be scary Don't be sitting there not uh wanting to talk. <laughs> oh, scary buds. Um, talk to your yo yo guys, but um, that's probably why you're hearing noises. Um, definitely sit still, meditate, sit still, get the downloads, and understand exactly what um you're supposed to to do, how you're supposed to move. Okay, and when you're moving, allow the dead stuff to stay behind you as you embrace this new journey and these new chapters. I'm glad you set up your altar. That's a good thing. I say, Mila Bella, Mila Bella, beloved, Mila Bella. Yes, pay attention. The ancestors speak through the candle flame. Look up um, cardamancy. I think that's what it's called. Or just look up research how to um, understand what flames mean. The meaning of flame candle magic or the meaning of candle magic through flames. It's actually called a specific theme. I think it's called cardamancy. Okay, Mila. What was your name again, beloved? Mila Bella. I'm going to just call you Bella because you're the last Bella. Bella. Mila, your guardians are super around you right now trying to protect you. Y'all 
trying to do too much. I'm not doing real reading today. <laughs> like, hold on. I'm trying to get you a second card, beloved, but they're trying to make me pull half the deck. Jamila. Peace. Okay. all right we're gonna end up with three two first card is the elders sit still beloved tonight or tomorrow when you are getting into this energy your ancestors are definitely trying to speak with you yeah spirit said look <laughs> they are trying to speak with you they want to talk to you specifically. They um, definitely have some guidance for you. Um, this is a time frame that you are to pull on your strength. Understand everything that you have been through, all the, the wisdom that you have gained, everything that um, has moved through um, these, in particular, the last year. Um, it's feeling like the last part of the year has been a... Um, a building, a strength building um, time frame for you. Pull on that strength and that wisdom that you have gained and understand that it is time for you to use that um, as you're moving through. The bottom of the deck for you was the Fool card. Fool card is all about having almost like a blind faith. Understand that the universe is always working on your behalf. Your spirit guides are definitely very heavy with you. They are very... Um, they are working in your support in particular. So it's a lot of strong energy that's coming from your spirit guides and your ancestors in particular. Make sure you are taking time to communicate with them. Um, specifically going through this, this full moon, sit down and specifically ask for their guidance. Ask for the, the what it is that they're trying to see um, send you. What it is that you need to receive through this dynamic. Okay? There's something, there's a specific message that they have for you um, and how they're trying to guide you. As we go through that full moon. Okay. Um, the chakra for you in particular is more in your, uh, it's not really your heart. It's feeling like it's a, um, a portal in the back for you. And I can't think of what that is right now. But I'm having um, discomfort in my upper left side. So I need to look that up, see what that is for you. All new cards for you. I say that might be a good thing. Elders is definitely talking to you. They the guardian card kept wanting to come out. It don't matter when you you talk to them, long as you continue to talk to them, beloved. You can talk to them whenever. You don't have to sit in meditation. You don't have to have a specific time. I talk to my spirit guides and ancestors all the time. We be having like full live conversations. <laughs> Peace. Okay, so my next person is Alicia. I'm trying to run through this because y'all got me. I got 15 minutes. <laughs> 15 minutes. I don't know. They might cut me off quicker. Okay, Alicia. No. Yeah, Alicia. Alicia, Alicia, you still on here, beloved? I know it took me longer to get through this than I should have. Alicia. No, Alicia. Okay, what about Trina? Oh, there you go. I'm going to try not to make you cry. Don't do me like that. I ain't trying to make you cry, beloved. I'm not. You stupid. You <laughs> cried. What would be three men? Three men with a bucket. You. <laughs> I 
I came with you today. All right, Alicia. Alicia. That's interesting. First card that you got was integrity. Integrity is all about being a woman of your word, being true to who you are, true to yourself, the evolution of who you are becoming and the woman that you see yourself becoming. So when we are moving through this full moon, I think the best thing for you to do is focus on how can I be a better me? How am I going to be in alignment? What is preventing me from being in alignment with my highest self? What am I afraid of if I become the woman that I see on the other side? Um, I say. Um, and you also got the craft card, beloved. Um, the craft card is also about tapping into your your. Y'all hear me say this. This is my favorite card for real. Entrepreneur tapping into your um your true heart's desire, what it is that you're passionate about, doing things that are creative, doing things that are from an entrepreneur uh, standpoint. If you have been thinking about doing something from an entrepreneur standpoint, this is the time to pull the trigger. That is confirmation. So you need to be sitting down with this full moon and figuring out. If you haven't figured it out, what it is that I should be doing that is going to help me tap into that particular energy and that dynamic that is in alignment with my highest self, with my best self. It is not, um, I would not tell you to do it unless it is in alignment because with these two in particular coming out together, you need to make sure that they are coming out. That it has to be in alignment with who you are and what you see yourself. Who is the person you always dreamed of being? It's time to pull the trigger and be her. Walk in it. Walk in your power. Walk in your gift. Know who you are. Demand everybody else to respect who that is. Okay. I love when y'all be talking about I, I got such a peaceful spirit. Sometimes I be feeling like I'm a little too harsh. I've been trying not to fuss as much. Somebody told me I fuss too much. I've been fussing. <laughs> All right. Abundance. It's your time. Come on, Abundance. Let's get it. That name, you supposed to be your money popping. I say, Alicia, you got it. You got it. Abundance. Yay. Okay. Abundance, what's your name? I'm sorry, beloved. I'm going to have to do a whole other video on ancestors. I see a lot of questions on that. Some ancestors are not people we know. No. Ooh, Nakata, y'all on these names. Neek, Neek, we're going to call you Neek. I'm sorry, I'm going to give you a nickname so I won't mess your name up. Ooh, your card flew out. Okay, Neek, what's going on, bud? Nika, Nikki. Okay, Nikki. Nikki, what is going on? I normally don't do this, but I felt like you needed another one. 
yeah i'm gonna do a video i'll do one i ain't doing it today but i'll do one because i ain't gonna have time and i want to make sure i get everybody in your first card that came out was the mirror card the mirror card is all about self-reflecting understanding why you are being triggered by certain things when these triggers come up instead of reacting or responding a certain way this is a time frame for you to learn understand what the lesson is understand what it is peace um understanding what um why are you being triggered by that that particular moment and now that i understand why what's the root of it how do i fix it how do i resolve that energy how do i um do it without being sarcastic without being oh my what oh my win is all about she got the slick mouth she real cut she a little bitter somebody done pissed her off we getting separated we going through divorce we going through you know, I'm, I'm done with you. Got that energy like I can do it by myself. I can do bad all by myself. Don't don't have that energy. Release that. Don't respond in a certain way. Understand what the trigger is there for. What are you supposed to be learning? Take this opportunity to refine it. Get into a like refinement energy. Okay? Refine it. Don't hold on to it. Process that that emotion. Process it and let it go. Because when you process it and let it go, you're going to resurrect. So this beautiful spirit is going to come out. The, the person who is putting up um, the energy of being angry or the energy of being hard will fall to the wayside. And this beautiful spirit that you are, the true alignment with who you are from a higher dimension is going to come through. Okay, and that's when the real growth, that's when the real um, abundance is coming through. Okay, so at this time, this full moon, definitely take time to see what it is that you need to reflect on. What should you be refining within yourself? How can you use, Oshun is a great energy to work with. If you're already working with deities and Orishas, if not, um, go to your ancestors who remind you of who the nurturing sweet energy how can you be sweeter in your words, in your actions? Okay. Um, Ashe. Trina, are you still here, baby? Trina. I hope I'm saying that. Trina 21, I think that's her name. Trina, Trina, Trina. Pride, I'm going to probably call you after I do this. Well, since we doing names, my real name is Marlene. Okay. Hey. I don't even know you, Marlene, but I feel like you have great, great energy. Your spirit guides are super happy. <laughs> they are super happy. They have really upbeat energy. I like dealing with those type of energies. All right. Marlene. Um, I'm sorry for our do you, Marlene. Um who did I just do? Abundance, throat chakra. Work on your throat chakra. Light a candle for your throat chakra. That could be like um, purple, blue, right? Purple or blue, I believe. It's dark purple, I want to say. Blue, royal blue, royal blue, royal blue, okay? Yes, Slim, I'm going to try. I'm trying to, it depends. I swear I ain't going to lie. Because I'm supposed to already be setting up my stuff so I could get into my work. My work work. My real work. I want to try to get these salts started so I can have them charging. Or what not. Alright. Um, Marlene. She said, y'all better quit talking to her. Her reading. She trying to get her cars full. You supported by your ancestors and spirit guides as well. Because I see that card a lot shuffling for you. 